Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to talk about locating your designs on an X-Tool laser. Now, If you've ever looked at an X-Tool laser before, you'll notice that they do not have cameras. So how do you locate your design correctly onto whatever surface you're going to engrave or cut your design onto? The answer is simply with their marking system, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So let's take a look at marking your material in order to locate your design. I'll just add the board inside of the laser and I did mask the area where I'm going to be engraving. And the other thing I wanna do is to make sure that this board is straight. Now I do have the honeycomb tray installed in my X-Tool S1. I have a design ready within Xtool Creative Space and all I did was use the text tool within Creative Space to make a design. You could import a design, the design does not matter. The first thing I'm going to do is measure the distance. So I'm going to move the grid lines over the processing area and click to auto measure. The laser will then auto measure the material for thickness. Next, we want to click mark the processing area and I'm going to click rectangle and start marking. What we want to do is to mark the entire area and I can see through this masking and I want to mark exactly where the area starts, first of all. So I want to move the laser beam to the start point of the wood area. Click the button on the front of the laser. Move to the second point, which is where the wood stops on this end, and we'll click the button on the front of the laser once again. Then we'll click End Marking and done. That would be a rectangle within Extra Creative Space and that rectangle is exactly the size of the processing area. So I'm going to pick all three of my design elements and I'm going to move them over the processing area and now I can resize them, I can move them around, you can even see that center lines pop up. So I can go ahead and center them within the processing area. We can move each of the individual pieces as well and get it exactly how we want it. Then I'm gonna pick all three of these. I'm gonna group them together. Then I'm gonna pick engrave and go ahead and set the power speed and lines per centimeter for my project. Now we can double check and make sure that we have laid this out correctly. I'm gonna click framing. We're gonna go ahead and hit the button on the front of the laser and the laser will show you exactly where it is going to engrave. So this is the area that is going to engrave and I can use this to double check and make sure I have laid this out correctly. If it's correct, then I can go ahead and click process. If not, I could start all over and locate my design correctly. So I can go ahead and close the lid and I'm gonna turn my air filter on and go ahead and click process. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start to start the engraving process. Once the cut is complete, remove the cutting board from the laser. This is after I removed the masking and I cleaned this up a bit. And you can see that this engraving turned out perfectly. So I love the way this turned out and you can see that the location is perfect. So with the X-Tool, I love the way the location feature works. Even though you don't have a camera within the machine, you can get a much more accurate location with the method that I've showed you. Now this cutting board comes with some bowls as well as some utensils and the set makes a really great gift idea. So check out the link to purchase the set in the description below this video. Now this is an amazing way to locate your design and I feel like it's even more accurate than a camera system. In fact, the X-Tool M1 Ultra with the release of it, they released a new thing within Xtool Creative Space where you could take a picture with your phone of the bed of your laser and send it to Xtool Creative Space in order to locate your design. Now, I did use that in a previous video and I found it less accurate than the method I shared within this video. 
So how do I recommend you locate your designs with your X-Tool laser? I definitely recommend the procedure in this video with marking your material, laying your design over the top, and framing it out to double check it. So hopefully this helps you locate those designs correctly and I absolutely love the way my project turned out. Now if you wanna see any of the supplies that I used in this video, I do have them all linked in the description below this video. And you can head there and purchase any of those, including that very cute cheese board that I ended up engraving in this video. Now if you like this video and it helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, head on over to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. I have videos just like this one every single week. And if you have any questions about anything we've covered today, drop down in the comment section and ask away. I'll be happy to answer those for you. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.